For all of us nowadays, using electricity is very simple. All it takes is flipping on a switch and pressing a button. In fact, it is so simple that many times we don't even realize it's there. We take it for granted. But have you ever wondered how electricity reaches us? Before lighting up our homes, electricity needs to be generated. Electricity is generated at power plants, which are coal, hydro, nuclear, gas, waste to energy, wind and solar, and moves through a complex system of interconnected wires and equipment called the grid. It basically comprises of generating stations, grid substations, transformers and the power lines that connects electricity producers and the consumers. To ensure we get continuous supply of power, smooth functioning and coordination between the three large interconnected systems of the grid, generation, transmission and distribution is essential. This crucial role is played by the state and regional load dispatch centers, much like a referee in a football match. Some distribution utilities generate their own electricity, while others, like BSES in Delhi, meet their requirements by purchasing electricity from generating stations spread across India, power markets, independent power producers, and from the power exchange. But why do BSES discoms buy power from outside Delhi as well? There are two reasons for it. To begin with, states like Delhi do not have large-scale generation of their own due to paucity of land and strict environment laws. And secondly, BSES buys power from wherever it gets the cheapest rates. To meet the city's growing power requirements, BSES has power purchase agreement with over 40 power stations all over the country. The DISCOM gets around 84% power from coal or thermal-based plants around 12% from water or hydro and 2% from nuclear plants. Apart from power from generating stations, BSES also arranges power from various short-term sources like power exchange, power banking and bilateral purchases. Presently, the share of renewable energy in BSES is little over 2%. But this will progressively increase to around 27% by 2021-22. For this, BSES has tied up long-term solar and wind power of around 1700 megawatt. From the generating stations, the electricity travels long distances on high-voltage transmission lines, such as those that are strung across tall metal towers. This transmission network in India is largely operated by the power grid. Once it reaches Delhi, the electricity is stepped down to 2,20,000 volts and travels on the transmission network of Delhi Transco Limited, which is the control of the Delhi government-owned transmission company. For distributing electricity to its over 42 lakh consumers and over 1.6 crore residents in South, West, East and Central Delhi, BSES takes the feed from the transmission grids at 66,000 volts or 33,000 volts levels and steps it down to the 11,000 volts level. Thousands of BSES distribution transformers further step the power down to 400 volts and distribute electricity to the homes and offices on over 35,000 kilometers of overhead and underground cables. This electricity is supplied on a state-of-the-art distribution network, which is one of the most advanced in the country. To meet the city's exponentially growing power demand, BSES not only periodically upgrades and augments this network, but also deploys latest technologies like the SCADA, GIS, DMS, etc. Use of such technologies enables BSES to control system from a centralized locations for a fast restoration of supply through alternate source in case of falls. Distribution boxes are fixed on poles, 
which tap electricity from low voltage feeders or lines and take them to the energy meters through service lines. Electricity usage is recorded by meters. The electricity goes to the service panel in your home, where breakers or fuses protect the wires inside your house from being overloaded. For safety of our home, Earth Leakage Circuit Breakers ELCB is used. Apart from an advanced distribution network, accurate demand forecasting is very critical for ensuring reliable power supply. Power demand is impacted by factors like temperature, rainfall, clouds, wind speed, wind direction and humidity. Even holidays have an impact. A real challenge is posed by Delhi's weather, often sudden and unpredictable, coupled with extreme seasonal variations. To take into account on so many varied and dynamic variables, BSES uses a mix of advanced statistical forecasting models combined with state-of-the-art weather forecasting solutions, including artificial intelligence and machine learning. These help BSES to predict with a high degree of accuracy. Though BSES strives to provide you uninterrupted power supply, at times, there may be a power outage due to a disruption somewhere in the electricity supply chain. BSES strives to restore the power supply at the earliest in case there is an issue in its distribution network, which can be on account of reasons like planned shutdown for network maintenance and upgradation, local faults, accidental cutting of an underground cable by a third party, lack of space to enhance capacity of our network or network damage even due to power theft. However, in case the fault is in the upstream network, at the generation station or in the transmission line, it is beyond the control of the DISCOM. In such cases, the restoration of power can take time depending upon severity of the problem. Being a responsible organization, BSES promotes clean energy. Towards this aim, BSES is encouraging consumers to produce solar power on their rooftops and get benefited through the net metering process. They can sell the excess solar power generated to BSES and profit from it. For more information on this, consumers can log on to www.solarbses.com and bsesdelhi.com. This is the complete process of ensuring electricity reaches your home safely and reliably. BSES has been an equal partner in the progress of the national capital. On back of the strength of its distribution network, the DISCOM has been able to meet Delhi's growing power demand which reached an all-time high of over 7400 megawatt in July 2019. This is over 250% higher than peak power demand of 2789 megawatt recorded in 2002.